Today we are at Universal, and this is gonna be another resort tour, but it's gonna kinda be a quicker tour because she has her family flying in tonight at 11.40, that's p.m. It's currently 7.30. So what we're gonna do is typically we you know, stay the night, then tell you what we think in the morning. We're actually gonna be at the parks in the morning. So today we're just gonna do a full tour and end the video today without actually sleeping in the room. We have stayed here before though. Yes, did I even mention where we're at? I don't think I did. We're at um, Universal's Endless Summer Resort. They have two essentially value resorts. They're their cheaper options. You have the Surfside, which is across the street. You have Dockside, which we're staying at. And you're right, we have stayed at Dockside in like 2020, so four years ago. And all we did, we wanted to see, um, it was really cheap then too, I think it was like 100 bucks or something. And the reason we stayed there is to see how the value is at Universal. Um, with these resorts, you do get into the park an hour early. So that's also why we wanted to stay here. But what we're gonna show you is, there's six of us, we got a two bedroom suite. And with the Florida rate, it was only $297 for six of us. The room consists of a bedroom with a queen bed, another bedroom with two queens. So we'll show you that. Um, we'll get checked in, we'll show you pulling into the resort. And then once we show you the room, we'll show you the rest of the resort and then call it. I think that covers everything. Let's go check it out. Turning on Universal Boulevard here. Uh, I need a gimbal. <laughs> and right there's Surfside, and then right over here we have Dockside. There's a pothole. Yeah, watch out for the potholes. Uh, and then it's just a stone's throw. Actually, if you look out this way, over to my left here. Oh, there's a volcano there. Yep. So it's right Move next to. Oh, sorry. Ah. Yeah. And then we're pulling in. Cameraman Move up here. <laughs> Pulling in right here. Dockside I'm in. Probably making people sick. Sorry. This is the Universal's Endless Summer Resort. So check in and parking straight ahead. And we will see if we can find a spot where we can just like park. Oh. So this is really confusing. This is supposed to be the through lane, but everybody's parked here and also drop off and pick up. So everybody just kind of is parked out here trying to check in. So we're just gonna run in, check in real quick, get parked, and then come back and like explore, but trying to hurry to get out of people's way. Okay, this is what the lobby looks like. There's a Starbucks and a very long line. So this should be interesting on, this should be interesting checking in. Maybe it won't take too long. Again, not gonna show right now too many details of the lobby because we're just getting in line and going to get checked in here. I guess the line starts down there at the other end. They do have um, lots of workers here right now because it is busy. So hopefully this won't take too long. Check out the ceiling in here. Now they do offer online check-in and if you do, you need to go to those counters over there where it says checked in online. All right, that did take an extremely long amount of time but what we'll do is we'll park and go over a few things all right now we're going to be really careful because it is very crowded um, and we're going to be over on this side so you can go over here and park um, i think it says was it tower one we're in yeah. gotta watch for the buses too but here's where you can get on the buses and then tower one is going to be over to the right and then you just use your little key they gave you which i'll go over this here in a second but you use that to get in so you just hold up your room key to the little scanner that'll open it for you and then you go back this way kind of a game plan is we'll park go up to the room show you that do a quick lap around the resort because it's not very big show you the pools and then um kind of call it um everybody gets one of these they're all different like uh when you check in you get that's your room key and you get to keep them so we've got six of them, two of them repeat. So we've got another Transformer one. We do have a Velocicoaster one, a Volcano Bay right here. And I'm blocking out the names and the confirmation at the bottom there, but they um, do have each person's name on it. So you get the room keys that you get to take home with you. We did get checked in. That was uh, crazy. Uh, lots of people, lots of stuff going on, but they did put us in this right here. And then as far as the map goes, we're gonna do something like this today. 
but that's where we checked in. We drove around this way, parked over here currently, and we're in tower one. He did ask if I wanted um, a higher floor or a lower floor, or we're literally only gonna sleep for like six hours. So I just said, whatever. And he said he usually would choose a lower floor in case the elevator's full or doesn't work. You can take the stairs. I said, that's a great idea. So we're right, right here. We'll show you that, we'll show you the pool. I don't know if we'll be over at tower two today just because I think we filmed tower two in the other video, but they're essentially the same. But we'll show you that, show you the lobby. Uh, Did you film the last one? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, and I think he said the buses run 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. every 15 minutes. A lot of information come at you. Let's go inside and look at the um, room. Oh, they got a lobby right here. Lobby. All right, let's go in. So you can see there's Surfside, Dockside right here. Room's gonna be somewhere in this area. There's doors down here, I guess. Maybe, maybe doors down there too. Yeah, so tower one entrance, room key required. So here's the elevator. Oh, so we're about, there's 14 floors. Typically I'm a top floor person to be able to see the views, but with them landing at midnight, we're literally gonna come straight in here and go to bed. So I didn't really care this time. Typically I would choose a higher floor. All right, floor five. We have an ice machine right here. It seems like there's an ice machine at every little corner. What's the number one five? 1590. We have a ways to go. I think we're close. Here we are. 1590. All right, I'm gonna zoom all the way out for this one. But as you enter, you have like a little surfboard here with a mirror. And then if we turn this way, we have a nice little sitting area, um, a kitchenette, if you will, with a microwave, refrigerator, and then a little sink area, which is nice to have. If we turn back this way, TV, some, oh, look at the little hangers they've got underneath there. And here's the two queen beds. So I guess this is considered the bedroom, I don't know, but it, this is essentially I consider this a bedroom. And then if we, actually we'll go down this way. We do have a pool view room that we'll show you here in a second. But if we turn this way, that's what it looks like here. And then if we walk this way and turn here, a nice big mirror, two sinks. Here's the official bedroom right through here. Also a queen bed with its own TV. We keep walking, another pool view. A little closet there. And then if we go back this way, there's a safe behind the door. Yeah, a little closet area there. And then if we go through here, here's the bathroom. So it is only a one bathroom, which is fine. But, and then if you turn back this way, back to the start. Actually might not even run down to the pool because literally this is what the pool looks like. Um, they've got like a little beach area here. And then it's actually a big pool. And then over there, the Oasis Beach Bar. You can see off in the distance. I don't know if you can see the park from this side. I think the park's gonna be on that side there. But anyway, that's that's a nice pool, actually. We won't be in that tonight because we'll have to leave here shortly, but gives you an idea of what all it looks like out here. And then turning back this way again. So here's, here's those hooks I was telling you about. Just some details now. You've got sand, sail, Look at that, that's nice. Plug in there, but I'm not seeing any plugins there's, I mean, there's some on that there's side. Right there. There's one right there, I guess, if you have like a straightener or, or curling iron or something. Oh, plug -ins, plug ins there. Now we won't try each bed, but we'll do at least one bed test here. And I will say, I think Disney's mattresses are better than this universal one but 
again, we're not gonna be in here too long. Um, I think now we will go check out the fitness center, the lobby. We're just gonna head back down the elevator to the first floor and show you. So the park's over there. It's only about a six minute drive. You just head right on over there. Is that fun to that? Yeah, it should be. Man, this is pretty good views. I guess if you're on the 14th floor, you could have really good views maybe. There's mini golf. Oh yeah, right there, mini golf. Here are just some food options. Scan for more information and menus. So the pool is this way, but since we already saw that from the room, we're not gonna go all the way down that way just to show you the same thing. But now fitness center lobby this way. Something else I forgot to say, you do have to pay to park. It's $19, so with tax, it's about $20. And we're only here one day, so it was $20 for uh, overnight parking. The wake zone, but right through here, fitness center. Which actually looks like they've got a pretty good amount. The fitness center is open at 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. There is um, a garage, I guess, this way, but we're gonna head to the lobby, which shows lobby this way. The pool is that way. That's not bad. Just take a quick peek. So the pool is actually just right here. Our room must be like right up there. So yeah, it's a nice tropical looking pool. It says pool hours 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then if we turn this way, the lobby's straight through here. Walking this way to the lobby. And back here is a parking garage. Right here we have the Pier 8 Market. So this is gonna be like your grab and go section. Make your own pasta bowls, soup of the day, chicken noodle. They've got the endless refills, grab and go, gluten free section. Pastries, croissants, cake. There's salad bar. More grab and go, they have a ton of choices here. More of the menus. Look at these sandwiches. Burgers, fries, chicken tenders, pizzas. Alfredo, chicken and waffles, drinks, this is where you'll pay, yeah this place is fully stocked, and then just some more grab and go items, oh and some wine, there's your drink station down there, yeah this is a, this is a nice market, restrooms, ATM there, the lobby does have Starbucks like I showed before. So here we have Starbucks. Here's the lobby, still a very busy line. Lobby again. We'll go look at the Universal store. And then I think that's about it. I think we're gonna skip Tower 2 today. Although there's a game room. Maybe we'll walk down that way and just show you the game room. Um, but we'll show you the store. So it's gonna be typical Universal merch that you can find at the parks um, minus the endless summer merch they have here just gonna do an overview they have some regular Orlando shirts of course Harry Potter section over on this side and if you are an annual pass holder you get discounts on all of this including the food So yeah, there's an overview of what it looks like in here. They do have a rental car section right here. 
where is the, I figured the game room would just be right there. So same setup as tower one. That'll lead you to the pool. We're just gonna look at the game room real quick. Here we have game room, open eight to 11. It's not super big. And then something else I wanna make note of, over here at the very end where it says tickets, they do have a ticket center that closes at eight o'clock, but that'll allow you to get help with tickets, get tickets, whatever you need. And then um, we're back out here to the front where we parked the car, again, Starbucks. And I think that basically sums it all up. And like we mentioned before though, there's resort buses. Also it says ride app pickup right through here too. So any Ubers or anything you're gonna get, it's gonna be right through here. And it looks like right here in front of the resort is where you would pick up your rental car. So that's good to know. Now, something I wish we would have known a little bit ago, 20 minute check-in parkings over here as well. So in case, uh, in case you need a place to park. All right, I think we are gonna finish the video here for tonight. We gotta go get heading to the airport to pick up family. We just wanna show you a quick tour of the value side of Universal, but more specifically a suite. Looked like it had pretty good room, honestly. Um, especially if you have like three sets of couples, kind of gives everybody their own space. Um, I will say both times we've been at this resort, it's been very crowded. It is a crowd heavy resort, if you will. Um, but that's what you kind of get when it's value. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this tour. We maybe in a future video, we'll update how we slept and everything like that, but i um, not gonna get much sleep tonight. We're gonna have a full day at Universal, taking the family and it should be a really fun time. And hopefully the tour wasn't too crazy. Like I said, we kind of went pretty quick, but um, hopefully give you a good idea. We gotta go now. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.